everyone my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the docker tutorial series part fifth and before continuing this with this video I would highly recommend you to watch my previous video as this video is in a continuation with the previous one so let's quickly do the recap what we had covered in the previous video in the previous video we covered main covered you know few instruction which help us to create a docker file and that docker file help us to build an image right and that image actually help us to run the container which is nothing but instance of our image right and we call that instance as a container in a docker terminology right so in today's video uh, we're gonna cover is add instruction and since add instruction behave pretty much same as a copy so a lot of people gets confused when to use add and when to use copy and why so right we're gonna see this with the walking demo so that everybody can understand how these two things are different and when to use what right so let's quickly jump to the demo part so for the demo I have already created a one docker uh, file that we can quickly see okay so let's quickly open this okay so let's see in our docker file we have a base operating system then I am using add and what I'm adding I'm adding one tar file to this particular location by now you know what happens uh, I think we have already seen a copy working or copy right so the moment I put this command this file gonna be copied to this location inside the container right similarly add is also do the cell add is also does the same thing but the only advantage add providers we can use in copy we cannot use as URL or the tar file to copy to the specific location so so just correct correct let me just correct myself copy you can as it is copy the tar file to the location but what add does is top of it if you have a tar file and you are trying to copy to the location it automatically extract the content of that tar file right and apart from that add also allow us to use the url if we want to download some data from the specific url and put it in a specific location right okay so rest work directory we have already understood then we have a arc that we're gonna cover later on in this session itself and environment we are pretty much aware of and so this is just our you know the docker file which I'm gonna use to explain add and copy so let's quickly build this first okay so as we know to build that I have to get inside the command by no by now everybody will be knowing this okay so the command I'm gonna use is docker build minus T which is just to define a tag then add demo and I'm just gonna give this words on three okay so it's now creating the image so we got the final image right with so let's see what we need to do next to understand okay so it looks like it's created successfully we have an image ID as well so let's quickly run it and see what's happening inside the docker container right so by now you know this you have to use minus it which in which takes you directly inside the container so let's see okay so now let's jump back to the docker file so what it says it is going to copy this star to this user src right so let's quickly go to that and I just use the work directly user src so we are at the same place and I'm expecting that file to be copied here but see we have a test star it's not that test star dot tar dot gz right so let's quickly see what is there in that file right which I just copied okay okay so this is the tar file and the same tar file I just extracted here this is I just copied and this result in when I unzip is to this and eventually this result in this folder and this folder has this Python code right let's see what we have inside the container see 
if you will see in the user src we have this folder test star and which is on which this star file has been created right so what this ad is doing i didn't i didn't do anything i didn't specifically mention that i want to extract that but this is being done by docker for me if i'm using a add command right so now quickly check the content of that cd test star I just okay now let's see what we have here we have a same docker python we okay so now you can just compare the data it's, it's it now you just compare the code it's pretty much same what we are trying to copy here right but now see the another command which which i used in my docker file right and that says copy the same tar file to warlib apk let's see what is happening there okay so let me just come out from here and let me just go back to the location where i'm just using a copy command apk ls minus ltr and i can see this this tar file is being copied as is right so that is what the difference between the add and a copy for the tar right similarly if you have any url right to which you want to download something and that you want to put it in a docker file so that layer can get created and image gets created based on that so for that you can just remove this docker and you can just put the url over here and that is how you can use this add and copy right so in real time when you create some complex you know the docker file at that point of time it happens we either we used to either we need to have a tar file so and we or maybe we have to use a url file url to just download something and put it on a very specific location right so that's the main difference between the ad and a copy right the another thing which i wanted to cover in this video let's see what i wanted to cover yeah so real time use i just explained difference i think by now you understood clearly uh, now let's see arg so to define a variable inside the docker file and it is known as build time variable let's see what is happening when i just you know created that image of that docker file right so from alpine it's fine right then it is adding this this is also fine right up to here everything is fine but just see this step five where i'm just assigning name equals to call double quotes abhishek right this is just an argument argument means this is known as a build time variable so if within a docker file you want to as you want to use some variable and that variable value you want to use within a docker later on on the same instruction file then you can use it so for example if you will see on my screen i use this arc i just define a name as abhishek and then i'm just defining the environmental variable name username with the same variable name and let's see whether you know the environmental value variable username is giving me abhishek or not so we are already inside the container and we can quickly verify that as well okay see this user which i am highlighting is abhishek right and that is i am doing with the help of arg and the env right so i think this is what i wanted to cover in this video so now you know what is the difference between add and copy in which scenario you want to use add and which scenario you you're going to use copy similarly you understood what is the use what is you know how the arg works and how you can use that variable uh, when you want to run you know the container so the difference between arg and a env is arg is something through arg is actually available at the time of creation of image from the docker file whereas the env is defined for a running container or the running image right so inside the container that value will be available so this is what i wanted to cover in this video and there are few few more important you know the instructions are left which i am supposed to cover in a upcoming videos and that's it for now if you have any feedback or any comment or any suggestion you want me to include in my upcoming video please feel free to put that in a comment section and thanks for now and until the next video please keep healthy yourself and keep learning and keep innovating thanks a lot